Hello, my name is Jorge. In these tutorials, I'm going to teach you how you can use Tiled as a map editor for your 3D Unity game using my Tiled to Unity tools. If you aren't familiar with Tiled, you can see it here. It's a very easy to use, free and open source 2D map editor for games. In my opinion, it's very well designed, intuitive, and is by far the most practical open source map editor available right now. So I designed the Tiled to Unity tools to allow both you and if you want, even your players, to use Tiled as a map editor and object placement tool for your Unity game. So here are some things to know about Tiled to Unity. Firstly, is in terms of setup, besides a Unity scene where you load your 3D level where all your tiles get beautifully laid out as they were in your tiled map, we're going to also need a tile setup scene. It looks something like this, although this is in Maya. This setup scene will basically be our translation between your tiles in Tiled and your 3D models. We'll be working on this first. Secondly, in the setup scene, any model you want to be used as a tile must always be placed at an interval of your tile size. So the very first thing you have to do is decide how much space in 3D is represented by each tile in Tiled. And that will be our tile size. This is very important. In my case here, it's three units. So it's three units from here to here. The other thing to know is that the tools can load object layers from Tiled as well as tile layers. Now for those of you who want to jump in without watching all the tutorials, I want to give a quick overview of the four components that the tools expose to you. Now these four can be found at the top of the tiled folder and we have stand-ins, tiled object properties, which is just a container for object properties coming in from tiled, tile loader, and tile variants. These four components are the only thing you'll ever need to look at in Unity if you use the tools. And mainly, I want to point out that all have a description in the inspector if you click on them. So you can always know what they do. The tools also come with a couple of handy mel scripts for Maya. And I'm going to go over these now. But even if you aren't using Maya, I recommend watching so you can get an idea of how to set up your models to work as tiles before bringing them into Unity. So here's my texture sheet in Tiled. And I have many tiles and terrains. And I provided for every single combination. Of course you don't have to make it this comprehensive, but I want to show that if the tools work for this scenario, it should work for you too. Now, how to make the terrains work in Tiled is out of the scope of this tutorial, but I want you to notice the patterns that I use to lay out my tiles. To save you a lot of work later on, I recommend organizing your tiles in the following patterns. And the reason is that you're going to have many tiles that are essentially variations of other tiles, but just rotated. So for example, look at this square. All its tiles are really just the first one, rotated around. And so are these. And these four corners are all the same, just rotated. And so for all rotated tile variants like these, always use one of the following patterns small square, which looks like this, large square, cross, we'll call this 90 vert, 90 horizontal, I call this dip down, and this is dip up. Now sticking to these patterns for all your rotated variants will be really important because it'll save you a lot of time later on. And if you forget the patterns, you can also see them in Unity if you go to Tiled Tools Rotated Variants Tool. They're all shown there. So I recommend you stay as organized as possible with your tiles because things can very easily get out of hand if you lay tiles wildly or randomly in your sheet. So take those patterns I showed you and lay them into bigger patterns like so. See in Tiled, they make meta patterns. See these relationships here and these here. 
and these here are in another pattern. So here you have smalls inside of a bigger pattern of other smalls. This way if I make an error in marking any tile inside tiled, it will pop out in the meta patterns and I can fix it early. If you see errors later on during the tile placement in Unity, it will be more difficult at that point to figure out what's wrong. So take my advice, try to make sure that these are 100% organized and that your terrain's marked 100% bug free and tiled early on and save yourself the trouble. See here, these are all recurring patterns. So if any are off, I'll be able to spot it right away. So let's jump into Maya. So here as you can see all the tiles are laid out exactly as they are in the texture sheet I used in tiled. If I show the grid, you can see I've laid them all out across X positive and Z positive. Now which axis you use doesn't really matter too much, except that laying them out in X positive, Z positive allows you to use the mail tools that I made for you. So before I go into them, two things. First, since we're using tiles, as any level artist knows, if you want to make something that is repetitive look good, you're going to need to break up that repetition with variance. So over here you can see the area where I was modeling my tiles. I laid them out in a way that gave me a good idea of how they're going to look in the game. And here you can see some variants. Now functionally, these all represent the same tile. For example, all of these represent flat rock to tiled. Here's some more. They look different, but they're all the same tile. And over here, all these different waterfalls are actually the same piece too meaning they're all interchangeable. They're all variants. Note the edges are all exactly the same so that they can be swapped with each other. Okay, so how do we handle these? You can see over here, we lay them out in the Y axis, either above or below the corresponding tile that they're meant to represent. So for example, tiled only knows about this one, rock. But down here, later we're gonna tell our tools that they can use any of these in its place too. And over here you can see all my other variants. And of course you don't need so many. It's up to you to add whatever you want to any given tile. Now the other best practice I have to offer you here is to use instances for your tiles. Maya, Max, and any other half serious modeling program will support instances. Which means I don't just duplicate things around. I instance them so that all the copies get modified when I make a change to any of them, like this. See, these are instances. If you don't use instances, you're asking for a lot of pain in this portion of the pipeline because you're going to have to make changes and you don't want to have to make every change four or eight times. And the one exception to this is tiles that are mirrors of each other. So for example, note that these could be mirrors of each other. Now the tools don't handle mirrored tiles and that is both in Maya and Unity. And the reason for this is because mirroring in 3D can cause a whole variety of problems uh, due to negative scale transforms. So we're just going to avoid those altogether and always treat any mirrored tiles simply as unique tiles. Okay, so the Maya tools are very simple, but they'll make arranging these tiles a lot easier. And this is just one reason I recommend sticking to the patterns when laying out your tiles. So you can leverage the tools as I'll show. So let's take this set of tiles here and let's delete them and we're going to put them back to demonstrate. So let's open the tools in the script editor and go all the way to the bottom. Now right here is the only thing you need to change. Change that number to your tile size. In other words, what is the distance between each tile? And for me it's three units, so I'll leave it. And by the way, I very strongly recommend you use a whole number here so you can snap to grid. However, the tools do support any decimal. So I highlight everything and middle mouse drag to the shelf to make a button out of the script so I don't have to ever remember it ever again. Okay, so over here are some instances of the tiles that I deleted earlier. And we're going to use the tools to lay them out very quickly. So let's run it. So the first three tools are called small, large, and cross. Should sound familiar? You have to place the selected tile in the appropriate position in the pattern for these to work. So putting it in the corner, small will make the small rotated square like this. 
and each new piece is an instance of course and large takes up the corners for this pattern and cross makes the sides and these are all the same just rotated instances see now let's take care of the variance we talked about earlier the next two tools are called up and down very simple they just move the given tile up or down a tile unit so in my case it just means three units up or down every time I press now this is important because variants must be placed exactly at multiples of the tile size too for the tools in unity to recognize them as variants and this includes the vertical axis too, the y-axis so basically everything just has to be placed on a big grid cube at tile sized intervals so now everything is placed the last tool is a naming tool it's totally optional but I find that it helps to debug if I name every tile in Maya a name that will correspond to the names that our tiled tools will use in Unity. And basically that's just a name that contains the X and Y of the tile that the model is meant to represent. And that's all this tool does. But if you want to name your tiles Grass 1 or Dirt 3, um, that should work fine too. I just find that this works best for me. So to use it, highlight everything and press name. And you can see all the names should now correspond to their tiles in the texture sheet. So for example, this one is 0102. So that means it's the second tile over and the third tile down. And it counts from zero. So that's it. We should be ready to import to Unity. And actually, all these tools are optional. They're just to help you. The important things is that you have the tiles placed at your tile size intervals that they're placed at the same position that corresponds with your tile texture sheet and that their variants are placed vertically like this okay next up will be in unity